Tell yeah. me about life in life in a writer's room with fifteen, because in Canada that's right. that's the entire production staff. <laughs> right. So, well, yeah. I mean, first of all, everybody has their own offices, and so we only meet. Well, first of all, we have lunch together every day. I mean, and not it's not compulsory, but everybody just likes everybody enough that we all sit around this the same writer's table. But in terms of actual meetings, it doesn't happen that often. It's maybe a couple of weeks. Sure, we'll call you know, a writer's meeting. Everybody will come in, and we'll discuss usually the story arcs. So it's you know stories that are going over several episodes. So last season, for example, season four, the big one was the bringing in a new team or you know bringing in new fellows. And so that was like an eight or nine or ten story arc. Um, and so that required a lot of discussion, you know, because there's a lot of new characters. How are we going to do it? How many episodes is it going to run? You know, which beat will fit into which episode? And because, you know, each writer wants to know which, which piece of the puzzle do I have to be concerned with? Do I have to write? And, and how, does, who, how is the episode before me going to lead into mine? And then how is mine going to lead into the episode after me? So, um, so that happens. And, and, uh, but we don't generate story ideas, like individual story ideas in the writer's room. And we usually don't... Uh, well, at the beginning of the season, Shore will sit and he'll say, okay, what has everybody got? Let's go around the room. And everybody sort of pitches their one or two liner. And so, you know, he'll sort of say, that's good, that's good, that's, you know, that needs work, or that's too similar, or something like that. And, uh, but, but we don't really sit around and discuss um, individual story items, you know, story ideas in the writer's room. It's more just the story arcs. Mm -hmm. Good. Can you tell me a dirty little secret about David Shore? Um, I think he, know, he knows pi to, like, 30 decimals or something like that, which is really, you know, kind of geeky. He was a math major, and so um, every now and then there'll be some math problem will come up, and he'll answer it, and everybody goes, this is really weird. So I, I, <laughs> there you go. That Boy, that's juicy, isn't it? it? It wasn't stupid to me, but it was stupid to a doctor. And I came in and I pitched, um, the patient has bubonic plague. And, um, and I'm thinking this is a really fantastic idea because this is like a, a lost disease and nobody tests for it anymore. Nobody will recognize, you know, doctors won't recognize the symptoms. And um, our on-staff doctor heard the pitch and he said, you know, that it, it's, cur it's curable by a simple penicillin shot or even pills. And so, you know, the person would come in with this horrible, horrible disease and be cured on page three. So he goes, this is, this is not going to work. So that ended up being a very bad idea that, from me that I hoped had been a good one and turned out not to be. So.